Now trash and debris are choking part of the Nottaway River. Now, some people in Southampton County are getting worried after seeing large amounts of styrofoam in the water. It's showing up in the river just north of Cortland. So did all that trash get there? How did it get there? We sent 10 on your side's Matt Gregory to get to the bottom of the problem. And Matt, what'd you find out? I found out that it's not just any trash. The waste found is old building material that river experts say someone intentionally dumped in the Nottaway. Large and small pieces of styrofoam collecting in a bend of the Nottaway River, a layer of waste and debris almost a foot thick. Jeff Turner, a river keeper for the nonprofit Nottaway River Organization, says he noticed the mess a few weeks ago, but what he found further upstream is even more shocking. Ten times that much. Yeah. There's an island up there they said the island was pretty much coated in it. Turner claims upstream someone tried to strengthen a river bank using demolished debris. People use lots of different stuff, riprap, crushed rock, stuff like that, but I don't know why somebody would go and load a dump truck full of rubble mixed with styrofoam and not think that it's not going to float down the river. That's, that's, that's dumb. The waste that was supposed to strengthen is polluting. So where did it come from? It's, it's like Hansel and Gretel leaving the trail of breadcrumbs. I mean, you just, you just follow the trail back and that's where it come from. Turner says among some of the waste, he found papers leading back to this demolition site, the old HP Beale and Sons meat packing plant. Ten on your side spoke with the company that did the demolition, and the owner of Old Dominion Demolition out of Portsmouth says he had nothing to do with the removal. So we checked the property records and found out that that site belongs to Gene Beale of Norfolk, Virginia. But when we called, he didn't answer, so I left a message. The Virginia Department of Environmental Quality is now conducting their own investigation, and of course, we'll keep following this story. Matt Gregory, 10 on your side.